Sajid Mandal wants to come in with a quick uh, rebuttal. Professor Mandal, over the last few days, specifically Mamta Banerjee is talking about one date. She's saying on the 17th of April, riots will happen, riots will happen, but you do not get instigated. Riots will happen, the BJP will orchestrate these riots. So if the chief minister, the head of, if the chief minister has information, shouldn't she be giving it to her police? Why is she constantly saying that rights will take place, rights will take place, rights will take place? Two person, you know, let me speak. Two persons are carrying the program, doesn't help. First of all, what happened yesterday, last year, this kind of rights were created by BJP. That investigation went to NIA. What is the NIA? NIA had done? What is the NIA done so far? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This NIA, NIA runs on the whims and fancies of BJP. That's been clear. One Vandam Singh has to be called in called back to Delhi because he has a meeting with Jitendra, Jitendra Singh only a few days back and thereafter these waves are happening. Now, first of all, that was a bomb that was that was a, that was a, you know uh, uh, that was a bomb factory. That was not bomb factory of the kind that you are talking about. There's a blast in this factory, there's a licensed bomb factory. They were making bomb for you know crackers cracker factory. What are you talking about? And for that, for that investigation and inquiry, one, one BJP leader was caught uh, red-handed with this uh, NIA uh, SP. What is the credibility of this kind of investigation agencies have? How many army NIA investigations are happening in the last four, five years? What are the results? How many CBI investigations have, have, have been happening in the last four years? After the election, three years after the election, what are the results? I want to know, and I want to humbly put it, the, put it in the court of the country, and especially to Karkar but very humbly. Have you reviewed all those CBI investigations? What are the results in 30 investigations only in last three years? These are nothing but attempts to malign a government that BJP doesn't like because Mamta is the only, only woman chief minister in this country who does not succumb to BJP's propaganda and machinery. All kinds all of right. machinery. All right, Shatrupa wants to come in. Uh, Professor Mandal, Professor Mandal, you have accused the Bharatiya Janata Party of misusing agencies. You have accused the Bharatiya Janata Party of trying to forcibly bring in the NIA into the state. But I really want to understand what is the link between what happened in Bhupati Nagar to the claim being made by Mamta Banerjee that riots will happen on the 17th, uh, two days before the first phase of election. Shatrupa, your rebuttal. I really don't want to respond to Monojit Mondal because yeah, he talks from, he begins from somewhere, ends up elsewhere. I want to stick to this particular comment that Mamata Banerjee keeps on making year after year. She's got a problem with Ram. She's got a problem with Ram Navami celebrations. She's got a problem with slogans of Jai Sri Ram. She gets out of her car and goes and walks to talk things at people. She instigates people and when people have a harmless slogan of Jai Sri Ram, she has a problem with that. She is constantly saying that the BJP will create drives, BJP will create drives, BJP will create drives. If she knows that BJP is going to create drives, she as a chief should very silently, very systematically, tell her please, but be aware. No, Professor Mandal, BJP is directly accusing the Trinamool Congress today of trying to instigate riots. She's saying... The BJP today, top leaders of the Bharti Janta Party are saying that this is a way to send a message. And also I would like to know what did, what did that comment of Abhishek Banerjee mean where he said that those who pit Hindus against Muslims, their janaza should be taken out, their visarjan should be done. Who was he talking about? He's absolutely right. Because that is but who was he talking about? Yeah, you know. What is yeah, any, any, anyone? Uh, please stop the please, please stop this violently. Anyone, anyone, yeah, and yeah. everyone who tries to create this kind of riot in this country, that's history. Even in Mahabharata and Ramayana, there was a fight between dharma and adharma, right? And everyone who was on the side of adharma, they had janajas and they had death male wall, one wall. So, so, Mr. Mondol, as per the Trinamool Congress, Mr. Mondol, as per the, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking cue from what you are saying, Mr. Mondol, as per the Trinamool Congress, who creates riots in the country? As per the Trinamool Congress. As, this is not for the Trinamool Congress only. This is for the common. But you have been making some accusations I'm, constantly. I'm, I'm saying this. I'm saying this on record. This is on record. BJP has benefited from rioting. That's been there ever since that for, for God's sake, madam. BJP was not born 60 years ago. BJP was born in 1980. 
BJP was born in 1944 years ago. Please get your facts right. You are not in BJP 20 years ago. That's why you do not know the history of this political party that you are representing. Mr. Mr. Mondo, the question has come to you. You yourself are getting tied up in knots. You were asked very clearly first who was the chief minister addressing. You refused. You ducked that question. You were also asked that if there is who was Abhishek Banerjee talking about. Who, who does the Trinamool Congress mean when it talks about they create rights? Who is the they? You are not answering that question. But I I, I would like to thank both Manojit Mandal, Professor Mandal, and Shatarupa for joining us today on this broadcast. A blistering face off there between the BJP and the Trinamool Congress. We have to take a short break here on Times Now. We'll be back with more news and updates.